started this program about three years ago, uh, working with Beaver and Watson Technology Centers. We had a lot of technology and we wanted the students to be well versed in all the different things that it could do. So we took two students from every classroom so that they could help teachers with projects throughout the year. And we taught them how to do um, just iMovie and all the basics of the Apple products. And then each year we've added new programs to it. So we've had some students that have been with us for three years and then we've added new students along the way. But what this has done is it's created experts in every single classroom to help out the students and help the teachers as well for all the projects that they do because both of these schools are project-based learning schools. This year we've brought on UTD as part of our project and we've partnered with them. They have created a version of Minecraft that goes along and it's called Polycraft. It goes along with polymer chemistry um, and then the students are also making stuff. They're also using the 3D printer, so we have a lot of stuff going on. I am here because I had talked to the lovely Stacy Payton um, about getting involved with doing some sort of Minecraft uh, explanation of material science. And if we can get kids really excited about science, even at a young age, that gives them so much room to grow whenever they move forward. This year, we've added a student showcase. So the parents were invited to come today and they are being the students with their own student. So they are getting to learn everything that the students learn in a shortened version of it. They are also getting to see the products, the final products that the students have created throughout the camp. Some of them did, you know, seem kind of a little bit skeptical about some things like, ah, oh, could my kid really learn through video games? Um, but then the reactions kind of changed as we let the kids, you know, sit there and explain. And a lot of them were very much impressed with what the kids had to say, where they were explaining everything from extrusion to 3D printing to like how materials come together or like the plastic that we ended up making in class. And they were showing the parents very enthusiastically all of the stuff that we had to offer them in the mod and, you know, kind of watching the parents go, holy cow, this could be something that, you know, my kids could really learn from and really gain a lot from was exciting <laughs> to say the least and kind of being able to feed off that energy they were very very excited about what you know the kids were able to grasp from it and I think that kind of solidified that you know there are a lot of cool cool and fun ways that kids can learn science. The Digital Leadership University has grown a lot and we've had a lot of students that have wanted to come so this next summer we will be opening it to uh, more campuses and so that we can get more GISD students involved.